Well, the big story in Washington today, health care and the half-billion-dollar website that doesn't work right. The main contractors for the government's healthcare.gov marketplace got grilled by lawmakers for their role in the glitches, errors, and long wait times that have plagued the site from the start. Buther Coombs was in Washington for the contentious hearing and filed this report. There was one thing all the contractors agreed on today on Capitol Hill. Whatever went wrong, it wasn't their fault. CGI, which built the federally facilitated marketplace, or FFM. The FFM passed eight required technical reviews before going live on October 1. QSSI, which provided enrollment software, said it raised red flags about parts of the system that didn't work. Our work, uh, the Data Services Hub, was tested, tested well, tested adequately. We tested every piece of code we received timely. We returned a full report of any bugs we found. The problem, they say, is that the system's pieces don't work well together. And it was health officials from CMS, the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid, who oversaw the project end to end and who decided to go live despite red flags raised by testing. CMS had the ultimate decision for a live or, go or no go decision not CGI. While there were partisan moments, there was plenty of frustration on both sides of the aisle with the seeming lack of accountability. Are you saying that you didn't test, uh, that the tests worked very well, both inside and out, uh, or that uh, you turned it all over to CMS? Anybody want to answer? When we had independent contractors testing our system. Do you think it's right that 99% of the people that try to go through the system get rejected, can't even complete the, the application? Is that a system that you're proud of? Sir, this is a system that we are working every day to make improvements. None of the witnesses today could say for sure when the problems will all be resolved. CGI lead contractor estimates it could take another two months. The health department won't commit to a timetable, but you can be sure members of Congress will put that question to Health Secretary Kathleen Sebelius when she testifies before the House next week. Bertha Coombs, Nightly Business Report, Washington. Our next guest has some suggestions on how to fix those problems. He's Dr. Zeke Emanuel, the former health care advisor to President Obama. He's now vice provost at the University of Pennsylvania. I talked with him a short while ago, and he began by talking about what went wrong with the government's program from the get-go. The first thing is that the uh, regulations and guidance necessary to specify what the yeah. sites would look like so the contractors could yeah. build them came in late. There wasn't a CEO with uh, a lot of managerial experience who's been involved in the health insurance industry, been involved in uh, enough IT to really understand the system running it. Instead, uh, the gr people who run Medicare, who know how to pay bills and know how to issue regulations but have never built an e-commerce site, uh, were entrusted to, reg to uh, build this, which didn't make sense, and to integrate all the different components. Um, I'd say also the toxic atmosphere in Washington with one party trying to defund it and constant battles and not everyone trying to work together to make it work didn't help anything. And um, then we've also found out this week that it wasn't tested from end to end. So someone started the process and worked their way all the way through in a testing phase beforehand, mm -hmm. which is uh, uh, sort of normally done wasn't done. So, Dr. Emanuel, what's the solution here? It's, it's a mess. I mean, what do you think are the key things that the Obama administration has to do to fix the problem? The first and most important thing is to get a CEO. They've got a temporary CEO in Jeff Zions, who is a, uh, a proven manager. I've worked with him. He's a very uh, good person, a very good people person. He also has actually done, been a consultant to the healthcare industry, so he understands uh, healthcare. Uh, he's going to be in there, but he's temporary because he has a full-time job to go to in January at the White House, and they need a permanent person who has the skills I mentioned, that good manager, knows something about the health insurance industry, knows something about uh, e-commerce uh, and, and IT and can put up a site. They need someone who will see the site through for the next couple of years at least. So you're pretty familiar with the thinking in the White House and in the Ob Obama administration. After all, you did advise President Obama uh, early on on the health care reform. At what point do they come to the thinking and saying, you know, um, we're not ready. Um, this is going to take longer than we think, and we're going to be better off if we postpone the enrollment. 
What do you think? When are they going to get to that point? That depends upon the IT solutions that you can put in place over the next five weeks. And as I understand the problem uh, from people who are close to it, uh, this is not rocket science. This is about blocking and tackling and doing basic things correctly. Uh, and the question is, if we can get that, the website up and running in five weeks, I don't think they're going to have to postpone enrollment and postpone uh, the mandate. Um, and I don't think that would be necessary. Now, if it turns out that there are much bigger problems and it cannot operate at a reasonably good level uh, by Thanksgiving, that would, have, that would force you into a different decision. One of the key issues here is that the success of Obamacare depends on healthy 20 and 30 year olds to sign up uh, for insurance. And if they feel that there are too many hassles and they give up, doesn't that undermine the program, whether it's for an insurance company, for the hospitals, pretty much everybody? Isn't that a, a risk that the Obama administration is facing here by continuing this program as is? As you correctly point out, getting people across the age spectrum, but in particular younger people uh, who may be not clear what the actual advantage of getting the health insurance is for them, enrolled is very important. And so making sure it works well enough so that they can sail through the process in 20 or 30 minutes is very important. Um, and I do think that's got to be the goal. Um, but I, again, from what I've heard, that can be achieved. And we know that other websites uh, around, mm -hmm. as I mentioned, mm -hmm. Col Colorado, Connecticut, California, uh, the District of Columbia, Kentucky, have been able to do that. So I think this is a solvable problem. It's not an insoluble problem. And Dr. Emanuel also had some advice for the Obama administration. It should be totally transparent with the American people, telling them what the problems are, how they plan to solve them, and what's the timeline.